It looks like the racial and economic prostitution of the city of New Orleans may be coming to an end. Last year during the campaign, Barack Obama used Katrina and the citizens of New Orleans over and over and over and over again in attacking George Bush as a proxy in which to attack John McCain. Barack Obama promised the people of New Orleans that he would be there. He would feel their pain, that he would be there to let them know that he's there. He's looking out for them. Well, fast forward to January 2009, Barack Obama sworn in as president. Did he go down to New Orleans to let the people know he's there in the days and weeks that followed? No. In the months that followed? No. Nine months later, Barack Obama ascended upon the city of New Orleans from Washington, D.C. for four hours. Four hours. 240 minutes. I'm not sure exactly how long the travel time is from Washington, D.C. to New Orleans, but I think it's pretty much close to four hours, maybe. I think so. Four hours. He didn't go to New Orleans basically just to see the people of New Orleans and to really see what's going on through the city because he actually just went to stop at a school. He didn't go around to meet the people to see the to see people still living in FEMA trailers to this day. No, 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 no. You see, it was just a quick layover. That's all it was. His ultimate trip was the city of San Francisco, which is the polar opposite of the city of New Orleans. Barack Obama went to San Francisco for a $34,000 a plate fundraiser for Democrats. You know, the elite Democrats who don't live in swallow like the people in New Orleans. The people that claim they care about the people in poverty, but really, you know, nah, wouldn't really hobnob with them. $34,000 $34, a plate dinner. Now, I've always been told that the Republican Party is the party of rich white people, right? Yet, when you look at the wealth in this country, you seem like it's all in the Democrat Party among very rich white people. Hey, it's just an observation. I'll probably get dinged for it, but hey, prove me wrong. $34,000 a plate. I wonder what the um, value is of those FEMA trailers. Think they're more than $34,000? You know, the people at that um, Democrat fundraiser is about 900 people. I bet you if you could buy their, their total net worth, they could probably bankroll the complete re rehabilitation of the city of New Orleans all on their own. But now they wouldn't do that. What, dare use our money? No, let's use the working stiff's money instead. We'll fool them in thinking that we actually care about them. We'll spend their own money. We'll, we'll spend their own money on them. We'll keep our own money for ourselves. But keep presenting that illusion that we actually care about them. Well, anyways, I think the city of New Orleans, the exploitation days might be over with because since George W. Bush is gone, no one is, no one is going to dare hold Barack Obama accountable for a measuring stick to the progress of New Orleans getting better as a city. See, that only would have happened if George Bush or John McCain, if John McCain would have become president, then they would have held him accountable to the progression of New Orleans. But since a Democrat and Obama is black, he's elected, that's not going to happen now, so... I think right now, New Orleans will probably just fade into the sunset, never to be heard from again. $34,000 a plate. Damn, so many poor people in this country. The poor people that go to bed starving. Can you imagine how much $34,000? You know, can you imagine how much food they could buy for $34,000 for people in Africa or in South America? $34,000 a plate. And I bet you... That the people that attended that fundraiser, along with multimillionaire Nancy Pelosi, flew in on their Gulfstream private jets and rode up in their big stretch limousines. But they care about the working class people, don't they? Don't they?